Hey everyone, I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions. I've just spent the night enjoying the Polar Express with my family here outside of Calgary. And this week I'd like to take a look at an app called HODL. It's fun and easy to use and it's a way to track your crypto portfolio. So, let's take a look. Okay, so I am taking a look at the HODL app. Uh, this is an app used to track your crypto portfolio. Now the one I'm taking a look at is the Android version. Now there is an app in the iOS app store called HODL. It is not made by the same people. So just keep that in mind if you're taking a look at your version and it is not the same thing. Anyways, a lot of these are kind of along the same lines. I'm going to open up the app here. Uh, I've already downloaded it from the app store. And when you get here, you have a plain screen and at the top you have a net value of your assets and you have a little plus button down in the bottom right. So if you hit the plus button in the bottom right, uh, you have, uh, it starts with Bitcoin, but you can drop down and see a host of other cryptocurrencies that you can pick from. Uh, so let's just do a little test of this. Maybe I select Bitcoin and then you select the quantity that you hold. So let's say you had one, 0.4 Bitcoin. I'm just going to hit the check mark at the bottom. At the top, there's a toggle switch that allows you to actually track this. And I'm going to hit the save button in the bottom right. And now in my portfolio, I can see I have 1.4 Bitcoin and a total net value of 2560.78. Now, uh, I should say that I did set this value to Canadian dollars before this. So I can do that in the top right under the settings and you have your currency. Right now it's on Canadian dollar, but you can pick your local currency. Uh, so let's go back out and let's try adding another currency. So I'm gonna hit that plus button on the bottom right. Once again, I'm gonna hit this drop down. Uh, let's say I had some Monero, okay? Maybe I have, I don't know, 8.3 Monero. Let's do that. And the track toggle is on. I'm gonna hit save and that is added to my portfolio and the total is listed up above. Now let's say I didn't wanna track Monero. I could go back into it and I could turn off the tracking button and hit save and it would no longer be listed in my total. Uh, but I am going to add that. I'm going to go back to Monero. Now it will save the amount that I had listed before, 8.3 right there. I can just toggle the track button again and add it. Uh, let's just do one more for fun. Uh, let's take a look. What about, I don't know, maybe I have some Zcash and maybe I have, I don't know, 1.3 Zcash. So I'll, that track toggle is on, hit save, and it is added to my portfolio. So that's honestly pretty much all there is to this app. I know it's very simplistic, but that's kind of what I like about it. It's a nice, easy way to keep track of what you may be holding without actually having to hold it on your device. You can update these as you like, change the balances, so on and so forth. Uh, if you want a simple way to track your crypto portfolio, then I say this is a good option. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, drop a tip if you're able to, and share this video. Also, if you'd like to help the show in another way, check out my affiliate links down below and grab yourself a hardware wallet to protect your ever-increasing crypto. I'll see you guys next time on the BTC Sessions.